Hey, comic book friends, welcome back to Comic Book Corner, and this is your host, Mike Spider Slayer. Guys, you know what time it is, right? Yes, that's right, another comic book review. This week, there was lots of good books out, and this was one book that I didn't think that was going to be so good. Actually, it was even on my pull list this week, and it was a number one, and... I was like, well, if they have any left, I'll pick it up and see what it is. And when I went to the comic book store and I got my books, there was one issue left on the rack. And I said, if it was there, I would buy it. And it happened to be Savage Wolverine number one. It is written by, and art is done by Frank Cho. Cho, Chow, is that how you say his name? Cho, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I can't remember other things that he's been in. Maybe I haven't paid attention, whatever it is. Uh, but when I first saw this in the solicitations, I'm like, Savage Wolverine number one. Sounds dumb. Um, then I was like, not keen on the cover with the, you know, the beige and the monkey man or caveman and the girl in the background. I'm just like, whatever. This looks lame. And you know what? After reading it and seeing it, I enjoyed this book a lot. This may shock some people. Maybe some people didn't like this book. But me personally, I enjoyed it. I thought it was I thought it was great. I thought it was one of my better picks of the week. Um, after reading this book. It it was a fun read. It was it was great to look at and it just reminded me more of like classic Wolverine you know what I'm saying and the chemistry uh, between Shayna and and Logan were just the tension between the two is crazy but yet they like each other it, it's like they're both alphas and it's just like they, they can't seem to quite get along or who's in charge or whatnot but great book. I, I thought it was fun, and, I, and I'm looking forward to the next one. Um, so writer and artist, Frank Cho, and uh, um, the book does a great job with explaining what the book is. Uh, Frank Cho goes into, uh, if you watch the AR, he goes into detail how he never drew Wolverine before. And for never drawing Wolverine before, I thought he did a damn good job with it. Um, excellent job. And what this story is about is that you've got the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents um, traveling and they, they, they come across this crazy ass mountain and uh, they're flying and then all of a sudden they're, they're trying to get out. They're like in this dampening field. And it's kind of like the Millennium Falcon getting trapped in a tractor beam. And they lose all their all their power in their little hovermobile over here. And, uh, and, it, and it's just like they keep falling. And Shane and the S.H.I.E.L.D. agent are like, you know, the, the shoots are offline. The brakes are, are not there. It's like, we got, we got to get out of here. And you see them just like crashing. Bam right into the you know right into the savage land and uh, next thing you know it's eight months later and you see like these cavemen or whatever they are and they're pointing and they see this big bright light coming down it just goes pew, you know comes across and goes into the savage land and right away they're, they're going to see what's going on next thing you see it's our old buddy Logan, Wolverine. Again, drawn real nicely. Colors done well, inks done well. Facial expressions I thought were really good. He has no idea where he's at. And, uh, you know, you see him come across raptors and all kinds of things like that. And the book goes into detail about, you know, this is a different savage land from, from the past continuity. So things are a lot different from what we've seen uh, before and Wolverine looks at tracks he finds that shield agents are being captive or killed and there's nobody left and 
the book does a really great job at explaining the story. It was just so well written, I thought. And Wolverine just goes to town on these guys when he sees the S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. I mean, there's there's no hesitation in some gore. Um, you know, you see Wolverine using his claws, slicing off some arms, taking off a head, and heads going flying everywhere. Dude, blood pouring out. Just, like, picture that. And there's Wolverine's face right here. I mean, look at the, the just the, the shadowing and all that other stuff. Like, it's just so well done. I, I loved it. I loved it. Um, next thing we see is we see um, one of the agents who, you know, points to his ship and his ship is missing. And, you know, Wolverine goes digging around trying to find out what's going on. And, you know, he's just like, what, what, what's going on? What's, what's happening? And the next thing we see is Wolverine is just, you know, he smells someone behind him coming to pick him up. He's like, I smell someone, someone behind me. It's like, but it's not a man. It's Shayna. And there she is, right there. And let's just say that Shayna is drawn beautifully. I'm not going to say anything like that, anything else. But she, he draws a girl pretty nice. And, uh, but just on the flip side of the coin, Wolverine is drawn beautifully as well. And basically, Shayna. Um, just goes to town on Wolverine, stabs him on the side, and she thought um, she thought she was one of the um, one of those I forgot what they're called one of those natives, and she's like all happy to see him. She's like Wolverine, oh you here to rescue us and blah blah blah, and she tells his his story and his story's like hey man, I got I don't even know how I got here, you know, and. She goes on and she tells the story after what happens after they crash. So she goes into deep detail, and it's really great how they, you know, how Cho, Cho uh, told the story about how the people got picked off one by one, and how all these other mermen are living. They don't let you off the island or let you in, and she just really goes into deep, deep detail and. Um, you kind of, you know, you kind of feel her pain, how close they were of actually getting off this island because um, one of the agents knew that there was this dampening field. And if you could destroy this dampening field on here, they would be able to leave. And they were that close and the agent got killed. Wolverine obviously volunteers to help. And the next thing we see is we got... Uh, pterodactyls flying all around going to capture Wolverine he gets captured and they don't get along because Wolverine doesn't agree with the tactics of, um, of uh, Shayna and they're yelling and screaming at each other so like they're friends and everything but they have different strategies on how they work and it's it's their relationship is, is pretty cool and what I like about Shayna is that she is she's just a tough chick you know and she's a badass and that's what i like about her she's not you know no real crazy powers she's a chick that's gonna you know she's like wolverine's opposite almost you know same style personality i like that and i like their chemistry between each other i could actually see them two actually hooking up or something pretty crazy crap but in the end you got the dinosaur you know actually letting go of Wolverine and Wolverine doesn't know how far up he is and that's it man that's how that's what happens right there he's just falling to the ground and shit who's gonna catch him and it just says uh you know to be continued and at the end you get this cool like uh like it's not really a letters page but some key notes and it's got that beige color it's kind of got that jungle feel to it uh but if you use your AR at the end of the issue you get to see a preview of issue number two and guys this looks good. This this series might be something that if you thought of not picking up, you might want to pick this one up. This 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 was a surprise for me. Uh, when I was at the comic shop and I looked in the interior art, I was like, wow, art looks pretty. I'm not going to deny it. It looks pretty. Uh, it's a nice book to look at. And then when I read it, 
it was beautifully told story. I, I thought it was nice and thorough, wasn't crazy to understand, it wasn't way out there. And like I said, Shane and Wolverine, the chemistry between her two is like, a, they're like, get along and then they don't. It's just, it's cool to see that. Um, so I'm really, I'm, I'm interested to see what issue two has to offer and hopefully it delivers. And then I wound up getting the other Wolverine single title as well. So uh, guys, I'm, I'm going to give this one a five out of five as well. I, I, you know, I gave um, Avengers two, five out of five. I'm giving this one a five out of five too. These, these are great books. Uh, really excited about reading them. You know, it's not like I'm like, uh, it's okay. Good stuff right here. Um, so if you were on the fence about this, hopefully I gave you enough information to say, you know what, dude, I'm kind of excited about this. The artwork looks nice. You know, go out, check it out. Savage Wolverine, number one. And that's all I have for you guys. Guys, if you get a chance, go on to Dark Avenger Inc. Check out my other reviews for this week. Also, go on to comicrelated.com. Uh, you can check out all your uh, comic book news, previews, and reviews. It's updated 365 days of the year. And if you're interested in some written reviews as well, you guys can go on to Dark Avenger Inc.'s uh, affiliated uh, called Comic Frontline. We do all kinds of comic uh, written reviews. Lots of great people on there, so check out Frontline also. So guys, until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off, and I'll see you guys real soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.